Hello, hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? I'm Wokey and I'm here with another Fake Grand Order video. Why am I so tired? Uh, it's because I just, this is the fourth time I've tried to record this video and the previous video attempt was over an hour and 20 minutes long. Way too long for what I wanted this video to be, which is of course going over how much sync quartz and tickets are going to be available to us in the year 2024 or at least estimating how much it's going to be uh so that's going to be today's video i hope you like it if you do feel free to leave a like comment subscribe it would be i would really appreciate it i've been working on this video for a very long time and i'm trying to get the information the best way out to you and also for it not to be an hour and 22 minutes of me mentioning units so in this video i'm going to go over the sync quartz amount and the ticket amount for each month and then I'm going to show you the total at the end. It hopefully shouldn't take too long. Here's the one I'm not going to be doing, though. I am not going to be showing the units. That will be saved for a separate video, I've decided. Um, because if I include the units in this along with the St. Quartz amount, it's too much. And this year is too crazy. Multiple units come back multiple times. There's like this just the this Irish goggle and Ishtar for example, they come back in like five months. It's insane. This year is dumb and that requires further planning. But the what I can do at least for now is to show you how much St. Quartz and tickets we're gonna be getting so you can kinda help start planning a little bit and start doing it your own. I'm gonna show my own planning in a separate video, but for right now, let's get right into it. So as always, Wokey Math is subject to being wrong. Um, there's going to be some caveats for this video that I'm going to be making just so I it helps kind of understand where I'm coming from. First things first, we're going to talk about the things that are here every year, all years, and never changes. Uh, except for the one year where it did change. Uh, every year, we get five tickets from the Da Vinci Shop reset, which is 60 tickets because it's 12 months. 60 tickets, easy. I'm also counting these up ahead, so you're not going to see the five ticket amounts bleed into the year. Uh, that's going to make it so a lot of the ticket amounts seem really small. But if they seem really small, just add five tickets and it makes sense. It ends up The math ends up working a lot better when you get to the end and you realize, oh, actually, there was a lot of tickets. Um, 21 St. Quartz fragments over 52 weeks is 156 St. Quartz. Obviously, that's going to be kind of metered out throughout the entire year. But let's say throughout the entire year, you got every single one of those fragments from dailies. You got 156 St. Quartz from that. And then every 30 days, you get 30 St. Quartz over 365 days. That's 360 St. Quartz. Some years, you might get 330, and some other years, you might get 390. That's just kind of how the math kind of ends up working. When you only have five days of leeway, it kind of just makes it so sometimes you get the 30. In theory, you would be getting 30 St. Quartz every single month, but some months have less than 30 days in it, so some months you would actually get 30 Quartz twice. Um, and some years you wouldn't. It would foul out perfectly, so it's really weird. And that's not even counting the leap year, so <laughs> let's just assume 360, right? So, uh, to start with, we have the New Year's campaign. Uh, which I will try and show here occasionally. Um, this is the New Year's campaign. For the first two times I tried recording this, I was doing it on the completely wrong one. From here, you would expect 30 St. Quartz, 5 St. Quartz from clearing the Lost Belt 3 prologue, which is a mission that's added, 6 St. Quartz from panel missions, 1 ticket from the Clan Skya of Darkness trial, 5 tickets for panel missions, and 10 tickets from Da Vinci. Some unknown unknowns. If you were a brand new player, you would be getting 60 St. Quartz and 20 tickets from the start dash. And if you're a returning player, you'd be getting 30 St. Quartz. This is the last time I'm ever going to bring this up, and they will not put into the final total. If you are a brand new player, feel free to add 60 Quartz and 20 tickets to your end total. If you are a returning player, feel free to add 30. This is something that us players that are always playing never get, because the, re the reasoning is, is that, hey, you're here all the time. You would technically get the St. Quartz and make up for it. Eh, or so they say. But this is the only time I'm going to be counting these because uh, it's the start of the new year. New players would be, might be trying out the game, and some players might be returning to the game to give it another shot. Who knows? Maybe they're really big fans of Kind Sky of Darkness. So, for the new years, and which is the event itself, um, you would get 41 St. Quartz, 101 if you're a new player, 71 if you're returning, and 16 tickets, 36 if you're a new player. For the 1.9 follower commemoration, it's always 10 St. Quartz, and a lot of these you're going to be seeing, it's a lot of 10 St. Quartz. There was a uh, Caldea Satellite Station um, type of thing, which is the, just to show you what those are. 
it is one of these. Uh, we get a lot of these, and in these we always get 16 sync quartz. I think one time it changes and it's 14, it's completely different. But I'll make a note of it if it's in there, if there's a change. Um, the reason that we got that prologue, by the way, the up above here, the clear Lost Belt 3, the reason is is that we were having a Lady Reigns case file rerun, and you need to have cleared, I think, at least Lost Belt 3 to have participated in it, I think. I assume that's the reason why. You'll get 12 sync quartz from that, uh, from the main quest, 9 sync quartz from extra scenarios, and 3 tickets from mission list. In total, that is 21 sync quartz and 3 tickets. For the final total for the September in general, it is 78 sync quartz. Uh, if you're a new player, it's 138. If you're a returning player, it's 108. 21 tickets, a new player gets 41 tickets. And if you count in the 5, then you would get tw uh, 26, and that would be 46 here. But... February, uh, Valentine's pre-release got three St. Quartz in it. The Valentine's broadcast got 16 St. Quartz in it. For the Valentine's event, it is seven St. Quartz, five tickets. 24-day uh, anniversary, it's 10 St. Quartz. For White Day, it is three St. Quartz. For the Caldea Satellite campaign, it is six St. Quartz and 10 St. Quartz, which is always 16. You can tell when at some point I started just saying, these things always have 16 St. Quartz, and I made it easy for myself to just put down 16 St. Quartz. But that's it for February, and in February, that is 55 St. Quartz and 5 tickets. In March, we have the White Day Spectacles event, which is a 7 ticket from... You get 7 tickets from that, which is from Daily Login. Uh, for 7 days and on the 8th day, you get something completely different. For the 15 Bespectacled Bespect Intellectuals, that's 8 St. Quartz for the event itself. And then we have the Road to Lost Belt 7, number 1. Um... This is where things get a little bit screwy. A lot of the Road to Lost Belt 7s and number 1, I didn't know how to count these, and I think my general idea was I only count them if they are brand new, but because they are unlocking interludes for us to do, um, if you already have those units, you're not getting St. Quartz from them. So it feels weird to be like, ah, there's such a huge disparity, I'm just not going to count them. But in theory, you would get 4 St. Quartz from Anastasia. And then there's three tickets uh, which have to do with doing recollection uh, quests, and that's where you would get them from. And then we get the Battle of New York, which is 2022, which you get five St. Quartz from the main quest from that. One St. Quartz from uh, doing the Battle of New York, uh, which is the old previous uh, main quest. And then eight tickets from doing the, um, the events related, like the challenge fights related to them. And the same thing goes for Battle of New York 2, which is another three St. Quartz and eight tickets from doing all the challenge quests. We have Anime Japan, which uh, it's another thing to be like, hey, it's basically the Caldea broadcast. It's 16 St. Quartz from a retweet and broadcast. We'll, we won't get the Anime Japan, we'll get an equivalent of it, basically, on NA. That's how I see it. Uh, spring New Master Ad Campaign, uh, 10 St. Quartz for a retweet, 5 tickets for a retweet, 5 St. Quartz for following people, and then 2 tickets, which are basically just for leveling up MASH. It, one Only one of them says, hey, do this to MASH, but the other one is like, ascend a level 30 character, which you can do very easily if it's just MASH. So not that hard to do. Um, Road to Lost Belt 7, number 2. Six St. Quartz interludes can be done by all. This is where, again, I was like, eh... I wouldn't count any of these, because I don't think any of them are new. But just to be double sure, let's look here to see if any of them are new. Um, that's in March. Road to Lost Build 2. Here it is. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, none of these are new. So you would, in theory, already have these St. Quartz. So we... Uh, I think I end up taking it into account, and if I don't, then you just literally minus four from the final amount, uh, which will be shown at the end. Um, but six sync quartz, in theory. Three sync quartz from limited quest, and three sync, uh, three, three tickets from the recollection quest. And the end total for this month is 51 sync quartz, uh, 61 if interludes are done. I don't think, yeah, because I'm also counting the other interlude that was over, over, above here with Anastasia. Uh, that's why I was including it. Man, Passbook had this shit figured out. But 51 St. Quartz, but 61 actually. I think at the end I'd end up deciding to choose 51 St. Quartz for the end total and not 61. And 36 tickets. April, uh, Fate slash Pixel Wars. Um, this is something we're not going to get, but we are going to get the equivalent of it because it's the April Fool's thing. Over in Japan they had like Advance Wars, but... Uh, with Rio characters, which sounded awesome, but we're not getting that. We'll get something silly, but it won't be that. But we'll, we'll get 10, 10, 10 St. Quartz, so it's fine. 
Then we'll get the Sea Monsters 18 St. Quartz main quest. Uh, just by completing the main quest, you'll get 18 St. Quartz. Just trust me on this one. Then we have the Learning with Manga pre-release, which is 3 St. Quartz from Login. And then we have the fake uh, Arcade Unite, which is something we will likely not get because NA never got Fago Arcade. So we'll just get 10 St. Quartz. And uh, like I've made here, past Wookie said, 10 St. Quartz. Yeah, I don't know how we get these 10 St. Quartz, but we are getting those 10 St. Quartz or we are complaining, basically. Then we have the Fago Learning with Manga event itself, which we will get 3 tickets and 16 St. Quartz from. Uh, the April total ends up being 57 Zen Quartz and 3 tickets. And then we have May. The 25 million downloads, 10 tickets, uh, 25 million downloads came. I don't know why I didn't put this red. Come on, Bass Wookie, what are you doing? Uh, 10 tickets from Login, 30 Zen Quartz from a retweet. An SR ticket, which will feature multiple uh, units on it. That's something that I will cover in the other one. But this is where we get. This is where I'm going to get my Zenobia because I failed to get her in the Halloween event. So I'm getting her here. And then 10 St. Quartz from Limited Missions. And next we have Prom, the Prom, Trom, the pre-release. You get a singular ticket from here. Uh, not counting any of them, but you can potentially get 8 St. Quartz from this. The Trom pre-release part 2, uh, you get 7 St. Quartz from Login. And a total for May ends up being 49 St. Quartz and 11 tickets. That is the final thing in May. June, we have Trom itself, which is 21 St. Quartz uh, main quest and 16 uh, free quest. The thing that I didn't note here because I forgot, I included it at the end. You do get fragments from this, and at the end of the video, near the end of the video, I'll go over the actual fragment amounts because I kept it separated from everything else. Because fragment stuff is a little bit more annoying to calculate for me. 2500 days, 10 St. Quartz, easy peasy. The whole Grail War, <laughs> the whole Grail Front. That is the Holy Grail Front. Uh, five St. Quartz main quest, seven tickets to the Grail Front. Road to Lost Belt, seven, Lost Belt, three, not counting, but 14 St. Quartz potentially. Again, this is an interlude unlock for a lot of people. I don't think there's any new ones. Three tickets. And then we get Nanmei Yumihara, which is 14 St. Quartz and main quests. Four tickets. Uh, total for June ends up being 50 St. Quartz and 10 tickets. And then we have July. We get the main interlude, Ukyo. Uh, which is four St. Quartz from Sherazade, but only counting two because the second Sherazade interlude is um, new. So this is where I started going, oh, but this is new. I should count the new ones because technically speaking, the people who have Sherazade and the people who don't have Sherazade can both do them. So that's valid. Uh, in general, you should do this one because Sherazade has one of the best interludes in the entire game, and it's nice that they have the ability to have everyone do it. Um, then we get 30 St. Quartz from the Ukyo. Uh, I had to double check this because I said, that sounds like an insane amount to get. Uh, why are they giving us so much? And I looked back, it's because originally um, the Ukyo gave us like 55 St. Quartz. So yeah, for the main interlude, 30 is fair enough. Fago 7th Anniversary. Um, this is some, the countdown. Only for new or returning players, so I didn't make a note of it. <laughs> Sorry. We go 7th anniversary limited one ticket we'll get one ticket there we go and then we have this is all from the any countdown i think and then we have the Fago 7th anniversary in na the date will change it this might I, I actually calculated it i think the thing that actually changes is the any countdown will likely happen sometime in june and you it doesn't matter it's only a single ticket that's all we're getting from it so who cares it doesn't make much change to the variance but i did make a note of it because i said hey you should look into this and research it and that's what my research found it's not an issue it's just a one ticket difference um but the seventh anniversary has 10 tickets from login and one ticket from fighting arc uh or fighting with arc i forget which they consider it and then three this is the the tough one so usually every anniversary they give us a lot of sync quartz based on something and in this case you get three sync quartz for each servant you get that is fourth ascension but not including free units and um two star and lower units um for those you get rare mana prisms and the other ones you get uh, pure prisms from getting them one two and three so you get a lot of those so I did the math. By this point in the anniversary, we should have had 350 servants minus 37 because of the event servants, assuming you have them all, minus 12 one-star servants, minus 15 for two stars, minus one for the zero star, and you get 285. 
And out of 285 servants, if you had all 285 servants that you could get three Saint Quartz from, you would get 855 Saint Quartz. We'll talk about this uh, more at the end total, but that is how much it is possible to get in NA at this exact point in time. At this exact point in time, it's 855. Obviously, when they release more units for summer, you add more units to it. But at that point, things are out of control. It's out of variance. But let's just say at a flashpoint right here, 7th anniversary, 855 Saint Quartz possible. And then we have 120 Saint Quartz from the extra missions themselves. So the anniversary total ends up being, in terms of Saint Quartz, 975. And then we count our total for July. It's 12 tickets. It's 32 Saint Quartz for the month. And then once you include the Saint Quartz from the anniversary, it's 975. Uh, cause that is, uh, 855 plus 32, that is, no, no, my bad. Uh, you actually have to include, uh, 975 plus 32, which would be 1007. That is possible. That is improbable, but it is possible to get 1007 St. Quartz on July if you meet all the correct parameters. Uh, good luck with that, though. <laughs> good luck with that. Then in August, we have Servant Strengthenings. I counted these because we get two a day, and for the entire week, each one is of a two, is of a three star or lower, so very easy to get. So that would be 14 St. Quartz. I'm out. I'm counting it. But in total, it would be 28 if you had every single one, but I'm only counting 14. And then we have the Arctic Summer World, which is the summer event. Three tickets, nine St. Quartz main quest, five St. Quartz mini uh, scenario. And that's it. This stupid event has four banners. It has Domen, it has uh, Lady Avalon, it has Summer Scotty, and it has um, Summer Ibuki. They gave us 14 St. Quartz for this event. 14 you could do a single summon on each banner with that amount that's insane and i think from this point on i started losing my mind when i was recording the hour-long video because i was like we're just not getting enough like it is literally make or break how many of these servants did you put to anniversary stuff that's where all your same course is coming from to be honest um but anyway i digress 26 million download 10 tickets from login five tickets from da vinci shop again uh, which is different from the one you get from the for the month. So total for August is 28 St. Quartz and 18 tickets. For September, it is the Road to Lost Belt 7, Lost Belt 4. Now counting it, but there are 12 St. Quartz. Not any of them are new, so it depends on you. If you have, uh, It depends on if you have those units. If you do, you have to start minusing two St. Quartz for each one if you've already done the uh, interludes. Three tickets, um, and then the 2600 days, it is 10 St. Quartz. Guda Guda Shin is the name of the new Guda Guda event. That is 12 St. Quartz uh, main quest. And then a single ticket in the points rewards. This is another event that has over 7 SSR units in it. 5 star or higher. Uh, that's not enough, man. There's, none of this is enough. A lot of this is banking on you got like crazy bank from the anniversary. Um, Road to Lost Belt 7, Lost Belt 5. 4 St. Quartz. Uh, four St. Quartz, which are brand new. So those are all the interludes that you got from here. Those are from brand new uh, units. That's why I'm counting four of them. Three tickets. Your total for September is 26 St. Quartz and four tickets. And you can start to see why a lot of the St. Quartz announce feels small. Because I'm not counting these. Because I just don't know if the average person has those units. So I think actually the St. Quartz amount ends up sounding a little bit higher so for some people you'll likely have a lot more saint quartz than other people during this time because you don't have any of the units that have the interlude up or you don't even have them ascended or something um it's something to kind of keep in mind especially if you sound like some of these just don't sound like a lot of saint quartz like in theory if i actually counted all the ones that were available for this for example this would easily go over 30 this would maybe be somewhere close to 40 St. Quartz, but I can't count them. I That's the parameters I set for it. So you're going to have to look for them yourself if you want to look for them there. That's the way I wanted to do it. In October, we have the road to Lost Belt 7, Lost Belt 5. Not counting, but six St. Quartz from here. Three tickets. Uh, Halloween, we got six St. Quartz and the Fago Radio, Saint, 10 St. Quartz from it. Two million followers. Just They just decided to give us 10 St. Quartz for getting two million followers on Twitter. 
Uh, main interlude scramble. Two from Vago interlude. Because it's brand new. Um, Fifteen from the main quest. And then we have the singularity repair. Six sand quartz for login. And then six sand quartz, which are confirmed, which are new interludes for your units. And then 14 of them, which are really iffy if you, if you have them or not. Um, and then this one has like a buttload of banners. This has like close to nine banners in it. Um, not enough. Not not enough, my guys. October total is 61 sand quartz and three tickets, which is pretty nice, actually. November, the Caldea Fairy Night Cup pre-release. Morgan Summon Jump Scare. I made a note of it because it is important to keep track of <laughs> when Morgan will jump scare you. Uh, this is technically her second banner for this year. <laughs> She showed up earlier in the year. I only made note of this one, though. 14 St. Quartz. The Cadela Fairy Cup itself gives you 2 St. Quartz and then 7 tickets if you complete every single challenge. Lost Belt 7 pre-release features 12 St. Quartz and 10 St. Quartz from Login. Uh, this is an unknown NA Thanksgiving, but looking at previous Thanksgivings, it was 10 St. Quartz. Uh, November total, and this is something I actually forgot, it is 38 St. Quartz, 48 maybe. Um, 7 tickets. December finish line. Here's something I completely forgot to add, but I'll add at the end because uh, I just realized it. But the, you could tell that I was close to this. It took me a long time to finally do because I've been so busy and I've been slowly kind of putting it up there and kind of counting it all. But the road to Lost Belt 7, Lost Belt 6, not counting, but 8 St. Quartz, 3 tickets, um, 12 St. Quartz from Lost Belt pre-release part 2. Christmas rerun gives us 6 St. Quartz. The Lost Belt pre-release part 3 gives us 12 from login, 12 from mission, and 24 total. Uh, 27 day login, uh, uh, 27,000 days, 20,000, 27,000 days, um, 20, 10 St. Quartz. Lost Belt 7 pre-release part 4, that's another 12 St. Quartz. The Fago Winter Party campaign, that's 6 Quartz and 10 Quartz, that's 16 Quartz. Lost Belt 7 for part 1, that's 11 St. Quartz. For part 2, it is 11 St. Quartz. For the end of it, it's 3 St. Quartz. So in total, that is 25 for the main quest and 16 for free. And I will have at the bottom the fragment amounts. And then there's a New Year's countdown, which we will get one ticket for December. Now, the thing I did not remember, because it is an NA exclusive, is that NA actually gets um, like a little Christmas thing, typically. Uh like logins for doing things and i don't remember the advent, the advent calendar yes uh i think the advent calendar technically starts in november funny enough uh typically in the advent calendar it is five tickets and 30 quarts so i'm just gonna add 30 so at the end of december it is 121 uh saint quarts with an in theory in theory 151 saint quarts and more than four tickets, it is, in theory, nine tickets. So, we get to the final month total. We have 78, 55, 51, 57, 49, 50, 32, 28, 26, 61, 38, 121, which equals to 646. And if you add the three, it is um, 676. I believe. Yeah, because it is seven, five, four. No, it is four. It is no. It's not. Yeah, yeah, no. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah, it's three. I my maths be dumb. Uh, six hundred and seventy-six. I'll remember to add the same course here at the end. The anniversary potential is nine hundred and seventy-five. Uh, the thirty same course per login. That's three hundred and sixty. Uh, the correct collect everyday daily fragments. One hundred and fifty-six. The 75 fragments that you get from Trom, because there's 75 arrows, that's 10 St. Quartz. The 196 fragments that you get from Lost Belt 7 due to the arrows is 28. And the total potential for the year is 2,175, which we now add in the 1,005 plus 30. That is 2,205. Now, realistically, is it possible to actually get this? No. I would say you would have to be the craziest whale who only dedicates themselves to Fago to actually get this amount. So what would be a realistic amount? So I actually did this myself. Um, I figured out that my total would end up being 573 
based on my box because I think I have like 191 currently. I actually have more than that now. When I last did this, I did not pull Valkyrie. So I actually have 194. Um, uh, I have 192, so it would be 192 uh, times 3 would be 576. So I would get 576 of this. So my end total, if I did absolutely everything else and did everything, would be... Um, Oh, oopsie, would be 222205 two, two, minus um, 576, which would equal, I did not do that right, 2205 two, minus uh, 576 equals 16,029. That's how much I would be expecting for the year um, in terms of St. Quartz. And then for tickets, uh, you would get, assuming that you got every single one of them, and you got every single one from a challenge quest, it'd be 204 tickets total at the end. Uh, 209 if you count the end total there, which is solid. It doesn't sound like a whole bunch when you just do a little tiny thing, but that is actually a lot when you configure, like, when you consider saving them all up and doing that, stuff like that, so... <sighs> Yes, so, how, this is another thing where it's like, you're going to have to go in here and kind of figure it out yourself. For my total amount, I'm working with the idea that I have for this entire year, assuming free to play, would be around 1629 St. Quartz expected with uh, 209 tickets expected. Um... And that's something I'm going to have to work on when I'm looking through the banners. That's going to be a separate video that I'm going to do some more time closer to December. Because, oh, I've been telling you throughout this entire video, when I went through those servants, it was insane. I did not know certain servants came back twice this year. The ones that are typically popular, and it's like, what is going on here? But you have to remember, this is when pity hit. This is when COVID was still going kind of crazy. Um, so they were really fiending for that money, everyone was, um, and they were desperate for it. But yeah, that's how much you would expect it. So I would say this is mine. My expected amount would be 1629. For an average person, I would say you would lower this down by like another 200, like maybe even 300 to be honest. Because again, you have to think about how the average player thinks and plays. Like, I'm crazy. I ascended everyone because I wanted to. And that took me close to a year and that happened over a year ago. Not even a year ago, that happened over three years ago, I wanna say, it happened a very long time ago. Not everyone can do what I did. And uh, it's not an easy thing to do either. And some people may not even wanna do it that way either. You know, it all kinda of depends. And also some people that are playing the game who are new, they don't know that there's worth in keeping three stars or that some of them are even limited and very hard to get. So they end up burning them so that they only have four and fives. And it's like, yo, dude, where are your like threes and twos? Where's Ku? Ku's like one of the best units ever and he's like a three star and you don't have him. Everyone gets Ku. It comes with a copy of your Xbox. And they're just like, I didn't know he was good. It's like, well, that's what you get for coming here with the mentality of other gotchas where uh, lower rarity characters are just trash from the get-go. <sighs> but there you go. That's the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching it all the way to the end here. If I, if you feel I've made a mistake somewhere, please tell me. This video still ended up being 30 minutes long, which is still better than the hour and 22 minutes of the video that I spent. I'm going to have to end up doing that again. The reason it was so long is because I was looking at the banners as well and... A lot of that video, I think, I think there's almost like 40 minutes of me just saying character names. Because it was just a never endless, endless list. It was insane. But that's the end of this video. Very, thank you very much for watching. If you made it this way, all the way to the end, please leave a like. Uh, I, it helps the channel a whole bunch. I spent a long time working on this. So it would be very nice to get a little bit of like, hey, thanks for working it or thanks for helping. And again, if I made a kind of some kind of mistake or you would prefer me to do it another way, please tell me. Typically, I always did this for myself. The only reason I ever started doing this is that someone was actually curious about, hey, what's the actual court amount? So it's like, well, I just keep a hand of that. I do that every couple months where I'm just like, let me look at how much St. Quartz I have coming in for me. 
I'm, it's probably a little bit different for everyone else, but I, I prefer to be able to save because NA is built the way it is. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. The song is ending, and that's it for me. Till next time, you guys have a good day. Peace out. Bye!